I am here to tell you 11 reasons why you suck at photography. Let me give you a quick warning or a spoiler here. If you're thick blooded, if you can't take a joke, if you can't take criticism, or if you really can't, you know, you know, take aggressivity or anything like that, well, then this video isn't for you. Watch something else. But if you're here to have a good time, to maybe hear something that might spark something that's true, well, here's 11 reasons why you suck at photography. So warning, don't get bent out of shape. Here we go. The first reason you suck at photography, and this goes back to when you bought your first camera or when you're buying your first camera, you don't read the stinking manual. Yes, the manual is something that usually is just a, a throwaway type of thing, but if you have to go, you know, ask and keep constantly asking someone, how do I do this? How do I find where I set my ISO? Read your manual. So read your manual. That's one of the first things you should do. You made one of the biggest mistakes. You bought the biggest, the best, the greatest. Canon 1DX, Nikon D4, the biggest full frame camera. You went out and spent 10 grand on things because you're like, wow, this is the best stuff on the market. Well, it doesn't mean you know how the hell to use it. So if you don't know how, what you're doing or anything like that, well, you're gonna suck no matter what kind of gear you have, even if it's the best. A lot of people face the facts when it comes to this and they realize, well, I should. And it's the fact is you are too ignorant to accept uh, you know, negative criticism or comments or anything like that. Seriously, open yourself up for it. You'll improve. Just stop being so damn negative, you damn negative Nancy. Come on now. Another quick reason why you suck is because you claim you're the greatest photographer, but yet again, you don't know what composition is. Hence, something grown out of my head, like this thing or anything like that. You suck. Another funny thing is you suck because you buy accessories without knowing what the hell you're buying them for. You're just buying them to buy them. Is that really a point? Absolutely not. Seriously. Get, be minimal, you don't need every stupid single piece of gear out there. Why? Because it won't do you good anyway. If you don't know what you're doing with it. Another slight tiny reason why you may suck or why you do suck is because you don't aspire, you know, to look up to higher people. You keep hanging out with the newer crowd of photographers, the newbies, the rookies, everything like that, but you're not trying to learn, you're not trying to do something better. So if you don't try to do something better, well, you know what? You're gonna stay in a sucky situation. So if you're in that rut, stop sucking, look up to someone and go to a higher level group and accept criticism. These next two points really kind of tie in together. It's when you overdo your post processing. It's when you like take your saturation, throw all the way up. Cause you're like, oh, I want to bring out colors and the sky looks pink and purple without, and you're like, well, why does that happen? Cause you don't know what you're doing. Learn something first. And this next one, this next one is huge. And so, so now I'm going to back up and obviously I'm more or less out of focus. So what does someone try to do when they take a photo? They will try to sharpen it. They will bring the sharpening all the way up and then all of a sudden it looks horrible. You're like, well, why didn't it make my blurry photo sharp? Because your blurry photo is blurry. You can't do anything about it except throw it right in the trash can over there. So throw that out, it sucks. A big reason also why you may suck is because you may be kind of a dick. You're trying, you know, say if you're at a lingerie shoot or boudoir, you know, and a model's giving you a chance to get some, you know, different type of shots for your portfolio, and all of a sudden you take out your camera and you're like, okay, let's do some shots. Now, this is when you start to take advantage of them and that's horrible. So don't take advantage of your models. So if you're there like, hey, uh, let me get your number. You know, I'm your photographer. I have all these racy photos. I'm gonna sell them now. Well, don't do that. You're a dick and you'll be black written basically. So don't do that. You really do suck morally and as a person. Another reason why you may suck or just your photos suck in general is the fact is you don't understand the difference between, you know, putting a watermark something or a proof or you're doing it because you don't know what you're doing anyway. And you have all different kinds of stuff up there. Stop doing that. If your focal point is your watermarks, then your, sh your shot is ruined, even if you know you have something amazing. So really be simplistic. Don't throw anything on them. They can be removed easily. This is beaten with a dead horse, this topic. But really, you know, learn what proofs and watermarking are. If not, well, you're gonna suck. Lastly, but not leastly, it's being afraid to getting out of shooting JPEG, click, and shooting raw. Yes, raw is a huge thing to learn. It's a whole video in itself. But if you're afraid to get out of JPEG and learning how to really control your photos shooting raw format, then ah, you're, you may suck if you're looking to get into anything professional. So don't be afraid to shoot raw. I have given you 11 reasons why you suck. And as I said, if you took any offense to these, well, tough. You shouldn't because either some of these don't apply to you or some, you know, this may apply to someone else or it may help you improve something. So actually put some reasons down below of why you think 
people suck at photography and try to stay semi-realistic as well. These points were realistic. That's all I got. Eric Ross is the guy with the eye. Subscribe if you like these videos where I'm yeah, and then like this up if you think that, you know what, some of these are true. And if you think they're too harsh, who cares? Have a good one, guys.